Good evening, everybody. I'm back again with another video that the Lord has inspired me to make. Um, I'm just going to share a small scripture, but it's going to be different from my other videos because I just I'm going to give you the things that the Holy Spirit has given to me. Now, you can take it up in prayer if you just agree or agree either way i encourage you to take it up in prayer but i did want to read matthew thirteen ten. the disciples came to him and asked why do you speak to the people in parables he replied because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you but not to them whoever he whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them this is why i speak to them in parables though seeing they do not see though hearing they do not hear or understand in them is fulfilled a prophecy isaiah of isaiah sorry you will be ever hearing but never understanding you will be ever seeing but never perceiving for the people's heart has become calloused they hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes otherwise they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and turn and i would heal them that's all I'm going to read for now, but just several things that I see going on that just, I I can't help but go back to the Word of God because it has been written. Anytime Satan tried to deceive the Lord, anytime he tried to make him commit suicide or make him test the Lord he would say it is written because it was written and it's not just by the hands of men it was through the Holy Spirit that infiltrated men once they became willing and humbled and ask the Lord to let the Spirit use them. There's just several things going on in the world that, <clears throat> excuse me, things like the Lord back in the middle of June saying the fifth seal had been opened. And I don't know who else he told this to, but he definitely told me audibly in june the middle of june and i said what do you mean and he said the fifth cell has been opened so if we go to revelations let me go here chapter six i believe these are some slippery pages. The seals is what it says. And we go down to verse 7. When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come, I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death and Hades, or Sheol, if you read the Hebrew Bible was falling close behind him they were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword by famine by plague and by the wild beast of the earth when he opened the fifth seal i saw under the altar the souls Of those 
who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony that they had maintained. Now that is something that us Bible believing Christians, Messianic Jews, anybody who claims to believe in Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, whatever you choose to call him, have to understand. They lost their lives because this word right here that I'm reading to you right now. And a testimony that they had maintained because it's easy to gain a testimony. We go through many tests, and if we pass them, they turn to testimonies. But to maintain a testimony, that means to be consistent and not to lose it or backslide. That's the difference. They called out in a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth to avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe. And they were told, wait a little while longer, or a little longer, excuse me, until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and their sisters were killed just as they had been. So persecution to the true believers, those who cling to the word of God, those who cling to their testimony, will be persecuted. Which I already see that right now. You have people who are over here trying to discredit the Ten Commandments. Discredit the Fourth Commandment. And say, oh, that's nonsense. But that's the difference. They are the apostates. They have no moral grounds to hold on to the Ten Commandments. They have no spirit that makes them crave holiness, righteousness, and everything that comes with the Holy Spirit dwelling within them because they do not have the Holy Spirit. That was the fifth seal. Verse 9 through 11 which is persecution of the saints, which when the Lord told me in June there was persecution or that the fifth seal had been opened, that same day two stories fell into my lap. One of Christian children in China being taken from their parents and put into reversion school to make them atheists. People don't talk about it. People don't think about it. Because they're selfish. All they care about is me, 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 me. What would you do if your government came in and took your children just because you believed in the word of God? What would you do? That's something you need to ask yourself. And the second story was... Within minutes of that first story, and it was Christians in Vietnam being denied COVID relief funds. They're being mocked, saying, oh, aren't y'all Christians? The government is, you're no longer the government's responsibility. Go pray to your God to feed you. And that might just sound like a little story like, oh, whatever, but if they can't work, they can't eat. If they can't eat, then they die. It's a sinister spirit that each of these governments in each of the worlds, and I say worlds, I mean continents, there's a sinister spirit that is taking and manifesting itself right now. It is stronger than it ever has been, including in America. But we're just a mustard seed. We think we are the chosen people. Especially American Christians. OMG, man. Goodness, goodness, goodness. 
we need to humble ourselves because we don't want God to give us a piece of that humble pie, which he is. This is what is happening. The judgment has come to the church just like this book that is placed right in front of you. Judgment comes to the church first and then to the world. So if these are just judgments and wraths to the church, I don't want to be here when it comes to judgment of the world. Why do you think all these churches have been shut down for most of the year? Because they have become hypocrites. They have followed the ways of man they only care about numbers because numbers bring money that brings a lifestyle that they desire on this earth they don't care about their eternal damnation or blessings they only care about what can i get here on earth which is the spirit of satan that has infiltrated I can tell you this because for many years I have been in many different kinds of beliefs and religions and churches believing a plethora of things but until the Lord humbled me and he told me hey I need you on my Sabbath I need you worshiping at home with your family. Where two or more are gathered together, there I will be also. That is a promise. We don't have to question. Sorry, I went blank for a second. We don't have to question what the Lord says as true or false. Everything he says is holy. But going back to here. He said we are in the fifth seal. Revelations chapter 6, verse 9 through 11. But let me bring you something else. If we are in this right here, the fifth seal, then what comes next? I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black as, like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red. The stars in the sky fell to earth as figs dropped from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The heavens receded like a squirrel being rolled up and every mountain and island removed from its place. That's a scary day. Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, everyone, both slave and free, hid in caves among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand, withstand it? Interesting that right here, there were four things that happened. Great earthquake, sun turned black as sackcloth made of goat's hair. The moon turned blood red and the stars fell to the earth. If you go to Matthew 24. And you go to verses 20. 29. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then 
will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then all of the people of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the great on the cloud clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other those things align with the sixth seal that we just read revelation 6 12 through 14. So if the Lord told us, told me, and I'm sure it's not just me, that we're in the fifth seal, and then there's going to be these events, and then you'll see the Son of Man coming to gather his elect, those who heard the call, those who accepted the call. I know I'm not the only one that God has pulled out of religion. I know I'm not the only one who started to find the value and the holiness and the righteousness of keeping all ten of the commandments, not nine of them and desecrating the Sabbath. I'll even show you something else. Exodus, Numbers, one second, oh, sorry, I am holding my phone. With my left hand, I'm flipping with my right. <laughs> Trying to multitask, I guess. Leviticus. There we go. <laughs> right there. Hallelujah. Leviticus 23, the appointed festivals. Those that people rather argue are irrelevant or are relevant. I refuse to argue because if this is in the Bible, it is the word of God. What's the first appointed festival? I know you can see it. It's right there. The Sabbath. There are six days when you may work. But the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, a day of sacred assembly. You are not to do any work wherever you live. It is a Sabbath to the Lord. I'll even get on your nerves with some more scripture. The Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make... For yourself an image. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. So the first three commandments say you shall not. These are things you are not to do. But the first commandment that the Lord actually gives us a green light to do. Is the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day. By keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor. And do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath. To the Lord your God. On it you shall do no. Shall do. Shall not do any work. Neither you nor your son or daughter. Nor your male or female servant. Nor your animals. Even down to the animals have to keep the Sabbath holy. Nor any foreigners residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in it, in them. 
but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your mother and your father. Those are the two that you can do. The other eight, it says you shall not. So to remember the Sabbath day is what the Lord wants us to do. To honor our mother and father is what the Lord wants us to do. The other eight, he said don't do. People miss salvation. I'll even take you here. Deuteronomy. And for you people who claim to be Christians and refuse to open the Old Testament, you will not be the remnant. Will not be the bride that is picked up when Yeshua HaMashiach comes to gather from one end of the earth or one end of heaven to the other end of heaven. You will not be with them. Right here. Deuteronomy chapter 5. He states the Ten Commandments again. But showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me. But going up before that, you shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sins of the parent. To the third and fourth generation. Do you not know that we are the fourth generation from Moses? The people who desecrated the Ten Commandments before they even got the Ten Commandments written by the hand of God. It was not written by Moses. It was not written by Abraham. It was not written by anybody besides Adonai Eloheinu. Heavenly Father. And they desecrated him before he could even get down off the mountain. And they've been doing it since. From then through now. Before then actually. Because it started with Cain. But that's a different story for a different night. But showing love. To a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Because when you keep all ten of the commandments, including the Sabbath day, you are showing love to Adonai. So not once, twice. The Lord repeated the commandments. And then if you go here. These are the commands, decrees, and laws the Lord your God directed to me to teach you to observe in the land. You're crossing the Jordan to possess so that your children... You and your children and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you so that you may enjoy long life. Hear Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey. Just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. We're not doing that today. 
talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. You're supposed to be focused on the commandments. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. When the Lord God, when the Lord your God brings you into the land, he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give a land with large flourishing cities you did not build and houses filled with all kinds of goods that good things you did not provide wells you did not dig and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant then when you eat and are satisfied be careful that you do not forget the lord who brought you out of egypt out of the land of slavery People think that he was just writing to the people of old. But I can tell you the promised land for us is the kingdom of heaven. If we keep the commandments, we have the seal on our right hand and our forehead. That's what this tells you right here. And you see I wrote the seal of God. Seal of God commands, commandments. But also, if you go to Revelations, let's see. Phone's trying to die right now. Didn't realize I needed to charge my phone that quickly. Of course, I can't grab it. So give me one second. That's interesting. I've never been. Sorry about that, y'all. There we go. Revelations. I believe it's chapter 3. Right here. He's talking to the Church of Philadelphia, and boy, has that subject been exploited in the religion realm. He says, I know your deeds. Let me go down. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars, I will make them come and fall down. At your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you since you have kept my command to endure patiently. I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole earth and to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, which is this word right here. So that no one will take your crown. The one who is 
victorious. I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write them there, write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I... Well, also write on them the new name. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So, let me see. There's something else that I wanted y'all to see. One second. I'm very tired. I woke up at 5.50 this morning. And it's about 10 p.m. here in Texas. is right here. Okay, I still learn every day from these words. There's new mysteries every day. So pretty much, I'm going to have to research in. It was about the Antichrist. With the mark of the beast. Maybe one of y'all can leave it down in the comments where I could find it again and it goes on your right hand and your forehead just like in Deuteronomy 6 it says if you keep my commandments you will have the seal of God on your right hand and your forehead but what is Satan he is the great imitator so if the Lord has a seal that goes on your right hand and your forehead and it is the commandments it was revealed to me several years ago, 2017, 2018, that if the seal of God is the commandments and it goes right where the great counterfeit wants to put his mark, right hand and forehead, then disobedience to the Ten Commandments will most likely be the seal of Satan. Because he is the great counterfeit. He knows these words. And he knows how to flip them. And twist them. And pervert them. I'm not going to continue with too much more. For tonight. But it's just something. I thought this video was going to go. Completely. Different. But. When the spirit of God. Takes control. You don't deny it. I wanted to make a video about the circus show of distraction that is going on in America with Trump having COVID days after meeting and doing this great debate that was two four-year-olds insulting each other apparently I didn't watch and <clears throat> I'm just basing that opinion off of what everybody else has said 
<clears throat> Excuse me. I want y'all to know that Satan will distract you. If it can't beat you, it will keep you distracted. And that's all this is. Then Satan playing with matches, throwing them into the woods and starting a flame to keep you distracted. This election, it's a joke. It's been a joke. Yeshua is our king. That's the problem. They wanted him to get political and to be their king on earth. And he said, my kingdom is not of this world. He told them. And these are his followers. His disciples asked him to be their king here on earth. And he said, no, my kingdom's not of this world. I keep telling you this. I have a mission to spread the gospel, to get you out of religion. He rebuked the Pharisees. And now we sit in churches of Pharisees in 2020, 2019, 2018. These people are Pharisees. I tell you, it's okay to go to church on Sunday because the Sabbath was done away with. Sabbath was never Sunday. The great harlot, the Church of Rome... The Catholics, the Pope, changed it to Sunday because they are pagans who worship the sun. Even in paganism, astrology, each day of the week is named after the planets at the hands of the Church of Rome, the Great Harlot. Sunday is the first day of the week because sun is the first planet. Monday is named after the moon. We can research this on Google, but people are lazy and blind. Not trying to be judgmental. Just an observation. They don't want to look at it, but guess what planet is the seventh planet? It is Saturn. And therefore you have Saturday. So even in that, you can see where the seventh day is. But I digress. Take all of this to prayer. And don't be afraid to drop some comments after you went to prayer and asked the Lord if what I say has any truth to it. Shalom, shalom.